Anyway, we're here to play some Fandelver and Below Shattered Obelisk for you. We're here a little bit later, a lot of bit later than planned, but we're just going to roll right into it. Last time, the party uh, had a beach episode that took place on a creek, uh, and there was some tracking of a lost owlbear and a game of chicken and very inspiring words from Bronson about how when you find yourself blacking out in combat... Just get your shit together. Get your shit together. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That being said, let's uh, let's go ahead and roll into this. Uh, you guys were outside of Wyvern Tor. Uh, you had snuck around to. I think I, let me launch the map here. But you guys had snuck around and were basically saw what the inside looked like. You are in squirrel form, if I recall. So. Is yes, correct? I'm a squirrel. And you were doing tail <laughs> signals or something? Oh, so, yeah, I did, I did tail signals. Yes, Whether they were right. effective or not, they sure and were. Basically, you were trying to tell people that there was four enemies inside mm -hmm. or something along yeah. those lines. Yeah, well, uh, I, was, I think I, I signaled that this, there was more of this kind that's outside, inside. Also, a big one and a different one. <laughs> I think yeah. that was the long and short of it. Something along those lines. Yes. Big and big! And, uh, the party basically was going to head in there, and we kind of called the stream last time. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think we set up you. Everybody was kind of separated. Mm -hmm. Let me see if we can get this map to load here. If anybody had seen you yet. No, we had um, great stealth checks. Yeah, I had like 35 or something. I mean, that's they're all there, there still. Oh, yeah, that's true. You can look at them, <laughs> can't you, in the game log. I forgot about that. We love it. Mm -hmm. Roll logs are great. <laughs> Did you make the initiative? You made an, you made an initiative roll. Was that... Oh, you said was... we're gonna roll, so I it takes a little bit for mine, so I rolled for initiative. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fine. That's I can't. I Get your shit together, son. <laughs> Surprise I need, round. I need a muscle shirt of Robert's character looking pissed and ripped with "Get your shit together" with like big crazy cracked font. Uh, you know, something like Ed Hardy might sell, like oh, like that, sort of motif, mm. if you will. All right, I'm going to pop out of uh, Forb and cast a spell. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh, what spell would you like Dude, to cast? Let me... Let's go! <laughs> uh, oh, let's I'm going to Baldur's Gate this, and Soot is going to pop out of um, squirrel form uh, back into mm -hmm. her normal form, and I am going to cast uh, Flaming Sphere. Oh, my God, right here. Okay. I see your little drawing. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. I like and draw I, rings. I guess we'll go ahead and roll for initiative then. Everybody did that except for Gable, looks like. Uh, yeah. Do you want me to do digital so it'll show no, up? No, I can just thing? enter. No. Just tell me what you got. All right. Uh, it's a 15 on the die, which means that is 19. 19, and then we'll auto roll all the monsters and we'll hit start. Oh, now one! Oh! <laughs> Get shit on. Get wrecked. <laughs> oh, I thought we were talking about the monsters. You got a natural one? Yes, I got Oh, well, shit. I feel bad now. <laughs> <laughs> I, enjoy, I enjoyed it. <laughs> all right. Well, we're off to a good start. Um, Oops. So it is a. Uh, surprise where they have the surprise condition because nobody's expecting it so we're going to go through and actually before while you're casting your flaming sphere there so gable you uh you actually get a chance to go first so um i would like to fire a shot from the siren's whisper at sure. that bugbear the outside um, one yes the one that's wandering on the outside yeah. Would I get advantage because I'm hiding? Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. Thank God, because that would have been a natural one. Uh, that is 22 to hit. That will hit. Okay, so he. <laughs> hopefully this isn't going to be a repeat of the wolf. Uh, he's going to need to make a wisdom saving throw. 
which is DC 13. He rolled a natural one. Oh, music to my ears. Well, let's see what that damage turns out to be. Well, it's, it's not the highest, but uh, 14 points of damage total. Okay, uh, he takes 14 points of damage. He is not dead. Hmm. So he is now beguiled or something. Uh, yes, the... Uh, charmed, I believe? Yes, he is charmed. It regards you as a trusted friend to be heeded and protected. Although the target isn't under your control, it takes your requests and actions in the most favorable way it can. Um... I'm going to use that, right? To use the thingy? Yes, yes, to designate the, the that specific shot. Um, I'm going to say, put your friends out from that cave. And he is just like, uh, okay, but his initiative order already happened and he was surprised, so he's got to go back all the way around <laughs> uh, before he gets a chance to do that. So... Uh, your message has been received. Anything else from you, uh, um, Gable? I am going to... I'm going to duck behind these bushes a little bit more if I can. I can't move my character for some reason. Um, Are you on a different grip, like grabby hands in the map? There he goes. <laughs> I am on grabby hands. Yeah. Uh, there we go. OK, cool. Uh, yeah, uh, just to duck further behind those bushes. I'm not using the hide action, so uh, up to you what happens there. But, but yeah, just for cover, I guess. OK, uh, then after your turn, it is soot. So you cast your flaming sphere. It appears. Now what? Uh, now, uh, well, that's my action. Sure. Um. I might, might as well. I'm going to roll it. Just Okay. Like in to hit somebody? Yeah, I'm going to erase this. And I'm going to pop it right here. Okay. And it basically hits that bugbear? Is that what you're saying? Uh, yes. So, I can move up to 30 feet. Uh, if you ram a sphere into a creature, that creature must make a saving throw against the sphere's damage. Uh, so make a dexterity saving throw, please. Well, that's a two from the die, so I'm going to say that's a fail. So it's going to take 2d6 fire damage. Nice. All right. Uh, so six fire damage. And then okay. when you move the sphere over... Oh, that's, so if a creature um, ends its turn within five feet of it, must makes it must make another throw. So Okay. That's it. All right. Uh, well... And now it's Let's all lit see. up in there. Then it is that guy you just hit's turn. He's surprised, so he can't do anything. Uh, so he ends his turn. He's going to make a dexterity saving throw. That's a fail. Roll away some more d6, and we'll just use this next roll for all of them. Whatever it ends up being. As it's slowly seven. rolling. All right, seven. seven. All right, that's all right. So he'll take seven. Let's see. There is another guy. It's within five feet or ten feet. The damage. All right, I don't have a mute hotkey on this. It's uh, within five feet of it. All right, so this guy will take seven. And then it goes to Bishop. All right, wonderful, fantastic. Um, I will draw my rapier, and I will um, move in right to the edge of the cave there. Um... You know what? I have the the space for it. I'm going to move right up next to this first orc in the cave, and I am going to attempt to stab him. All right. Bishop's got the power! That is the hope. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Bishop does not. That is a 10. That will miss, <sighs> unfortunately. Hey, Buddy. what are you going to do? All right. Um, then as a bonus action, I... Uh, will cast a uh, shield of faith upon myself because I'm now in this cave. Oh no. Um, All right. But I have, you know, I'm going to move right back to here because that is how much movement speed I have. 
this orc surprise so he may not swing on me and this is where i will cast right at the, the cave entrance is where i okay. will cast shield of faith upon myself all right then it is the next bugbear he's surprised the ogre is surprised the other bugbear is surprised bronson yes your turn my friend okay uh let's see here we're gonna go 5 10 15 20 uh can i squeeze in that last little five feet of uh movement to get in front of bishop yeah let's, i feel like let's be next to each other side by side yes just like thermopylae in the brosian empire yes. <laughs> the, yes, the hot gates <laughs> mm -hmm. We need the yeah. music from 300 in order for this to make sense. <laughs> okay. Uh, we are going to look and see here. I've already cast eight. Everybody's got their five extra hit points. I've already mm -hmm. given out good berries. Otherwise, we'll all be using uh, free action to cry. Um, yeah. yep. True. Let's go ahead and... Cast Blizzy Bless. Okay. Nice. Let's do it. All right. Who's getting it? Uh, everybody uh, except for me. So. All right. You are generous. Oh, let's see. Oh, no, I can do. I can do. No. Um, you could if you wanted to. I could do second level, but I'm not. I'm going to do. I'm going to do first and give it to you guys. This is more important. Uh, right. first level bless out, and then I will cast spiritual weapon for my bonus action. All right, put that somewhere inside there. Let's put it on the the ogre. Okay, cool. Right nice. next to the ogre, and I will uh, swing my uh my spiritual weapon. All right, go for it. Oh, wait. No, Bless is a first level spell, so no spiritual weapon. Oh. Because it's a two leveled spells, even though that is a 22 to hit. Mm. Hey. All right. Uh, let's oh, you do. Know what, you did actually say at the end of last session, I remember you were going to do it then, and then you didn't. Yeah. I talked... did, you cast, did you cast Bless last time, though? I don't remember, if I'm being completely honest. Because you brought this up last time that you were going to do this. <laughs> this is uh, you... the... <laughs> it's going through the motions. Uh, yeah, I totally class. Yeah, I think that is. Yeah, the... so, so I think you already had established bless. So I will let you take that twenty-two for spiritual weapon as your bonus action. You still, you still have your action. If you oh, let's there. go! Hey, there man, we, we love that. Benevolent, Thanks. benevolent so DM. Go Go ahead and roll that damage for the spiritual weapon. Fixing my own mess. Let's go. Well, All I, right. I just remember because you literally did this last time. You're like, no, I won't. I won't do that. I won't do that. I, I can't. can't do it. Shit. <laughs> All right. Eight points. Let's go. Ooh, big hit. Um, All right. Uh, and then you still technically have your action. Yeah, I will go ahead and uh, I will I will yeet and slam my hammer on my shield and spin my uh thor's hammer up and send out that lightning strike over to sure. uh big boy yeah go ahead and give me that or is he is the attack roll or attack roll D all right yeah go ahead i took that with give the that uh the old goes. magic initiate so i had some range baby yeah let's go five points Eight. of lightning damage all right that is not a bad turn so uh, cleric doing damage. Jake. Cleric doing damage. Uh oh, Jake. Jake, did you tip it? No. I can't... Okay, we're close though. I imagine. Oh, did I? No, no I don't right. know. We're nine. No, nope, we're right there. We need seven hundred more to tip this reliquary situation. Oh, boy. All right. We don't have everybody in here throwing trinkets to Droop, so it might actually end up. Happening. <laughs> oh shit. Droop after uh, dark. Then it goes to the top of the round. And it's our guy outside that's currently charmed by oh, Gable. Shit. As all of our friends are in there throwing fireballs, 
and he just kind of like walks up to the like in between Bronson and I'm, I'll move him. He just yeah walks up right between him. He's like, "Hey guys, come on outside. <laughs> it's great." <laughs> what? <laughs> You're not wrong. He does a little dance. What? What was yeah, that? <laughs> yeah, he's trying to get him to come outside. He's showing him how great it is. <laughs> uh, and that's his whole turn because that's all he was commanded to do. Hey, good boy. Uh, then it's gonna go to our orc's turn here, uh, and he is going to move up. Hello. Ah, yes, mother. I have returned to your shoulder. And he's going to... Oops. <laughs> yes, show me off to the internet. <laughs> it's going to attack you, Jay. With some fava beans. That seems reasonable. All right, here we go. Whoa, we got a, we got a party at the door. Party at the door. Yeah, you really... You guys are We're going to leave the party here. Yeah, I can't really get the rest of the group outside if you keep everybody stuck there. Uh, all right, he's going to swing with his great axe that he has. That is a 16 to hit. That will miss, yes. And that is his whole turn. Yo, they got a spiritual weapon token on D&D Beyond. Let's go. All right. That's nice job, D &D Beyond. <laughs> yeah. They don't. I renamed the flying sword. Oh, uh, OK. Hey, you're, yeah. hey, you're legit. I like maps. All right, uh, then Gable, it is now your turn. <laughs> Something about just I like maps. I just like by em. itself as an audio is, is great. <laughs> um, well, there's an orc that's right in front of Bishop. Yes. And that entryway is all sorts of clogged up. So I am going to make peace with that. I'm going to move like right around here. All right. Uh, can I see through the bushes? Uh, you can see the orc, yeah, from where you're at. Okay. I'm going to fire off another round with a crossbow. Um, All right. What do I get in front of Because I'm here there. I like the way. I like the way. Benevolent DM. What do I yes. get advantage? Because I'm hidden in the bushes. You're not technically hidden, so no. Okay. Take a bonus well, action. <laughs> you can I take first. a bonus action? Yeah, can I you take it first? Okay. Can. You will have sneak attack regardless because you have an ally within range, so it's just you wouldn't have advantage if you. But if you hide. Yeah, no but it's more. It, it's less about the sneak attack and more about oh, let them cause all the problems. I'll just be back here cleaning up the mess. Um, sure. Sure. That is uh, seventeen on my stealth. Uh, Oh, yeah, you're good. Go okay. ahead and make that with advantage. Thank you. Uh, it's an 18 on the die, plus 7 is 25. Yep, you're good. All right. He looks slightly more than a regular orc, but that's about it. <laughs> what does that... It's slightly He's more a than a regular extra. orc. Cousin as of as regular no. As in, I think he literally oh. has three more hit points than the standard orc. Oh, per shit. The, per the adventure module. Well, apparently Gable was intimidated by that because I almost rolled minimum damage. So that <laughs> is that is uh, nine points of damage. All right. He takes nine points of damage. And he's like, Ugh. he gets hit with this. And his friend's just like, ah, ah, come on. <laughs> Let's go outside. Uh, it's great. Weird ass dance. I love it. Yeah, that's how that's how um, bugbears dance. I, you don't spend a lot of time with bugbears, I guess. So they have long arms. It's that, yeah, it's all about the arms. It's all about it's all about arm dancing. Mm -hmm. I'd like to to whisper another command if possible. I don't want to break the game or anything. Okay. Uh, and that is purely. It's more of a suggestion. Okay. That orc. Okay. That orc really doesn't like your dancing. You should kill him. That is an insult, isn't it? And he's just like, yep. Got away from my turn, though. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I think so it's your turn now. Yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm going to move through the trees to uh, here so I have a better line of sight. Um, okay. And... I'm going to use my bonus action. I think the sphere is in a good spot, so I'm just going to go sure. ahead and leave it there. Um, I am going to do my short bow, and I'm going to try and hit 
uh, the bugbear that is right next to my sphere sure. does a 11 hit. It does not. <laughs> Don't forget about your bless. Okay. Put your bless oh. on. Oh, right. Well, yeah, slap a little bless on it. Uh, does a 13 hit. It does not. Ow! <laughs> she just sneezed uh, on it and then uh, used bless. Uh, bless I'll, I'll let Abaddon <laughs> blow on it next time. All right. Well, then we're going to go to the bugbear who's next to the flaming sphere. It's a dry guy. Mm -hmm. And he's going to move up here-ish. Up to the side. He's going to attack our good buddy Bronson with his morning star. Everybody knows they love these morning stars. Oh, wait, I can. Can I do this? Just show up in the log. Oh, God, no, that was God awful. Though he rolled a natural one. Yes. Ninety nine problems with so bug then, bearing one. So then this guy moves up into the middle right here. And then we'll see. Uh, he's going to make an attack roll as well with his morning star. That's a 22 to hit. Reaction. All right, then that will miss. And Bishop, it's your turn. All right, very well. Uh, things are heating up, as it were. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll say, uh, so perhaps we can get your flaming sphere back on this crowd here. Uh, and then I will swing at the orc. All right. All right. And I'm switching back to my regular dice so that I can roll poorly with them and then switch back to digital. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Ah, four on the bless, however, for a 16 total. For the orc? For the orc. That will hit. Ah, oh, thank goodness. All right. Um, I am not going to use a smite. But I will deal uh, 14 points of damage. And he <laughs> goes down. Let's go, Bishop! That is this what guy, I do. He is dead. All Some right. of that erosion uh, level damage. That's right, baby. I am here for it. Uh, this time, as a bonus action, I will use my um, the Cormish opening, my blade, uh, <laughs> and I will take a defensive posture uh, in order to uh, add a plus one to my um, armor class. All right. Then, after your turn, it is... Fifth form, crane open. breathing, pheasant stance. Present stand, of course. Pew! Total concentration. Water breathing. <laughs> and then he goes to attack you, Bishop. My Just form isn't doing any damage. <laughs> well, that's only eleven point or eleven to hit, so that's gonna miss. All right. And then it goes to our friend the ogre in the back, who really does have reach, does not have reach. So just kinda like moves up here can't actually get to anybody with a club. So he's going to throw a javelin at, let's see, Bishop or Bronson? Bronson. Ooh. Here we go. Javelin coming your way. That is just a, that's a 13, so that's going to miss. <laughs> oh, yeah. Should have thrown a rock. Ted? Yeah? Is the ogre there, or is he here damn squares i'm just saying sure. uh, because of the five feet i, I don't I, well, <laughs> yeah it's it. fine he'll move up to throw the javelin and then he'll move back five feet <laughs> oh <laughs> brutal i'm just wondering I mean, i'm trying to keep well, everybody fair. honest <laughs> this bugbear is going to move up and do bugbear in this that fourth reach? edition's got all over your footprints Oh, oh, that look. LV, that look. <laughs> so I tactile. Up saving throw rules. It was weird. Oh. They don't have the bugbears. The enemy bugbears don't have reach. That is a thing of beauty. Huh. So then he's going to throw a javelin at Bishop. Bishop. Oh, God, they're rolling the crap with these digital dice. 11. He misses. <laughs> by the way, we can't see <laughs> your digital dice, by the way. Yeah, I don't know why they're turned off, but trust me, you don't want to see them. They're not. Oh, great. send them to everyone. That's at the top of the game log. 
Hush. Well, anyway, your uh, your turn, Bronson. Everyone, there we go. Let's go. Uh, oh my! Look at this! Look at this pile over here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, my it's just word! A, it's just a cluster. This is in there. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead. That is quite the cluster. And uh. <laughs> <laughs> the uh the one we the bugbear we got sandwiched in here uh right he's this guy right here charmed that stands oh like he's that. charmed he's no he's a you're a good boy um <laughs> which one of these has been hit uh any of these right here uh, yeah yeah i think that guy's been hit yeah he got the hit for the most all right cool i will swing my warhammer at the one in front of me Ooh, that's an 11 well, that's gonna miss, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And I will then take my spiritual weapon and hit Mr. Ogre. Go for it. I see you stoking that fire, Ted. I see what's happening. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that is a hit. twenty. Go for it, dude. Give me that damage. Six. Dirtiest of twenties. Six damage. All right. Been slowly just chipping away at this ogre with the spiritual weapon because he can't get anywhere. All right, then it's our our bugbear that you just tried to hit, Bronson. Oh no, I'm sorry. Like, no, it's our bugbear who's the dancing bugbear. That's right. I would like to know if his what his name is, and can we change it to Jerry? He doesn't Jerry, have a name. The Jerry, only one who had a name Jerry. was the ogre or the orc, rather. Uh, oh. And he literally he had a cool name, and the only other thing distinct about him is that he had. Four, three more hit points than a standard orc. Nothing else of uniqueness <laughs> to him. Just three more hit points. Interesting. Uh, oh, well, look at that. Me reading my own notes. Uh, and he's just like, <laughs> he just kind of like looks back at you quizzically and doesn't do anything <laughs> because you told him to kill the orc because the orc uh. was making fun of his dancing and the orc is dead now. <sighs> Over here, running this charm like it's the wish spell. Listen, apparently, right? the monkey is a charm. It is, a charm. It is <laughs> he's the charmed condition. He's, he, I mean, he's not an idiot. He's not dominated. He's not suggested. He's just charmed. He's your okay. friend, and he's doing he's a just dance, dancing, mm. having fun. Mm. Well, speaking of Gable, it's your turn. Right. Um. I, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll whisper to my friend. <laughs> your extended family thinks that your failure proved them wrong by killing them, and uh, he's going to take. Says, yep, we'll wait for my turn. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, and, and wait, as an addendum, uh, because apparently we need to include these things. If they die before it's your turn, go after the ogre. He was definitely looking at you funny. All right, just wait for my turn. <laughs> uh, as a bonus action, I, I suppose there's no real point in hiding. It's all bottlenecked. I will take a shot uh, at the one right in the middle of all the just mess. Uh, the one that's Fair. right in front of um, Bishop. All right, oh, and that's gosh. the one that's most damaged currently, so... Okay. Or second most damage, rather. Reason a chunk or d20 for this one. Uh, it's a 19 to hit. That will hit. Okay. Because he's within five feet. Let's see. Here we Ooh, go. That's good. Uh, uh, that is 20 points of piercing damage. Oh, yeah. He goes down and he is dead. Oof. All right. Um... Actually, I did see. Well, would I have seen the javelin be thrown from the ogre inside the cave from my view or no? Uh, sure. OK, uh, seeing that fucking javelin be thrown, he is going to use a bonus action to hide. Uh, okay. You know, he doesn't want to be on the opposite end of that. Uh, that is uh, 14. OK, you are as hidden as a 14 makes you. Uh, and then I read, and then, confidence boosting. Yeah, and then it's Soot's turn. Let's go, Soot. Woo! 
All right, Sid is going to uh, take that sphere and ram it up their asses. Uh, could I have <laughs> this bugbear uh, at the back? Could I have him make a uh, dexterity save? Dex save? Yeah. That is a <laughs> okay. Do you want me to roll new damage? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Maybe you roll more. Okay. Maybe it's possible. Unlikely. It was average. Okay. It's above average. Nope. Five. All right. Cool. Five points of damage. Okay. So that's my bonus action. Uh, yep. And as my action action, um, boy, they are just kind of all there, huh? Um, I am <laughs> going to. I am going really to are. unleash the bees. Um, bees. On the yeah. One that's bees. Out of your mouth. The north. Yes, uh, oh, Soot opens her mouth <laughs> and bees emerge. Uh, I'm going to need hit the, the one at the top to make okay. a constitution saving throw, please. Great. Oh, dear goodness. That is a failure as well. Okay, it's going to take five poison damage. All right. As the bees sting him. <laughs> Not the and bees! Gonna, yeah, and he's going to... In my eyes! In a random <laughs> direction... Five feet. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, he's going to move this way. That provokes an attack of opportunity from it you. It does not. It oh, it doesn't? Me. Ah. Oh, it doesn't. Darn. It doesn't. It's, it's, uh, All right. okay, fair enough. Then it That's doesn't do me. that. Uh, I think I'm going to stay up here, though, in the tree for now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. There is. We're reinforcement buddies back here. It's fine. Everything's fine. This guy here at the back. Uh, I read my own notes, and he goes, "Ah!" And he starts to run. He's gonna disengage and try to take hat double movement to move through his kind of friend and get oh. to right here. And then he's going to use... That's his action additional gauge. So that'll be 5, 15, 20, 5, 30. And then it's Bishop's turn. All right. Um, I look at the bugbear. I'm like, why are you running away? Do you <laughs> yield? Uh, and he says, oh, the uh, DM read the notes. When the orc, when orc dies, they run away. <laughs> <laughs> but of wow. course. But of course. Uh, are your friends going to run away as well? Probably. That's what the notes say. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yes, well. Good day, then. <laughs> um, And I will... uh. Fuck. Bugbear <laughs> on the run. You can move around the flaming sphere. You just don't end your turn within five feet of it. Yes. All right. Cool. I guess I'll five. Again, I will scoot on over to the ogre. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh no. Oh, boy, buddy. Oh, you guys oh. don't think so? No, it's no, fine. Wait. Just give me some acid reflex just with that little movement. It's fine. It's cool. Mm. You do you. All right, my man. I'm going to go Bishop. for it. Get in the go pit and try to uh, lift so someone. I, I push the ogre and I say, are you running as well? No, I fight to the death per the notes. <laughs> Me too, my good man. Me too. <laughs> and I will, uh, I will use uh, an attack and hopefully smite. Let's Me see. Me, ogre. Oh, man. Damn. I love... Fucking you know what? Cool. I roll bad, but the bless has been consistently a four. Um, so, Robert, you've been, you've been really saving my rolls here. I got a 16. That hits. All right. No, I not am the Cornish a opening. Ah. <laughs> uh, I will slap a first level smite on this. Sure. He's and, such an ooh, unexpected baby. paladin. Unassuming. <laughs> I'm having a weird... I'm having a weird moment right now. I've got voices in my head, but I will do. Uh, oh, I can do math. Uh, 25 points of damage. 
do it. Jesus Christ. Kill him. I'm uh, trying. Right. You, you deal 25 points of damage, and it does not. 25 happy about it. points! <laughs> God, so you were. That was enough to hurt my knee. <laughs> damage, daddy. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Jesus. And Christ. I will all use uh, the bro skate to once again uh, <laughs> nimbly uh, do some footwork. The bro skate! I love it so much! <laughs> all right, and then. Uh, this guy gonna disengage again. <laughs> He's gonna get over here. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> then it's the ogre's turn, and he's gonna attack you, Bishop. Hmm. Good. With a dirty twenty. That will miss. Wow! Nice. Shield of Faith plus the Broscade Twenty One is my armor class. <laughs> All right. Over well, that's it. <laughs> and then it is this guy's turn, and he's just like, I too shall leave with a disengage action. <laughs> We can't have all these bugbears clown Karin out of here, okay? We. <laughs> all right, it's your. Well, speaking of clown carring, Bronson, it's your turn. Ah, let's do it. All right. Uh, I will. Since I still got eyes over here, I'm going to be like, take a swipe at that ogre with my spiritual weapon from a bonus action. Sure. Yeah. Ooh, eight. <laughs> that unfortunately will miss. Yeah, I need more spell <laughs> slots for bless on myself. Uh, and I will target this, uh, the bugbear that is creeping along the rock face. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. see you, goddammit, I see you! And, uh... <laughs> I'll stay where I'm at, and I'll, uh, I'll yeet my lightning hammer. Yo yeet! Uh, 13. 13 will miss, unfortunately. Hey, you know, I'm gonna roll damage, because I feel good about myself, and, uh... That's fine, roll your you damage. Know, yeah, you know, it would have been... Yeah. That would have been cool. Yeah. Oh. Would have been respectable. Yeah. yeah. Then, uh... Our, our dancing friend over here is going to attack the guy that's right next to you, Bronson, with his great club. He's like, oh, I get it now. It's my turn. <laughs> and he rolls a 24 to hit. You're doing it, yeah. Peter! I really like that every enemy just really paid attention to the pamphlets that the DM provided them with the notes so that they knew mm -hmm. what parts to play. And he rolled action. 11 points of damage. So he deals 11 points of damage to the bugbear that's trying to escape. Nice. Hell yeah. And Good that's boy. his turn. Gable. All right. Um, I saw Bishop <laughs> fucking run in uh, after the yes, ogre. Uh, Gable is going... <sighs> Jesus fucking... Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that shit. Mm -hmm. Jesus Lathander Christ. Um he is going to move up to here if he can. Uh -huh. He's gonna be breaking through his cover. I don't know if the bug bears are gonna take a tax of opportunity. Uh would will would you like to do that? Would you like to risk those attacks? Uh because you could yes. disengage as a bonus action. All right. I'll uh, eat it. It's fine. Just eat All right. Well, the two that aren't charmed are going to make swings at you. Here's swing number one. 24. Oof. We're running is away, it... but we're not going to stop Wait, is that the ogre running. or is that the bugbears? What did I hit the ogre? I'm sorry. Maybe I hit the ogre. All good. Yeah, I think I clicked on the ogre. I'll click on the bugbear. My bad. All sorry. good. It's fine. <laughs> I was like, okay, oh, natural Jesus, 20. That's... There you go. Oh. Natural 20. Okay. Uh, you know what? So I get for sassing the DM. That's okay. Still a 24, so it all worked. That's cool. 15 points of damage. I rolled oh. two ones on that. Okay. Uh, so 15 points from that guy as he hits you with his okay. morning star. I'm questioning my other, decisions. Then the other guy makes an attack roll against you with a 23 to hit. Mm. Guys, I think and I may have roll eight points of damage. Okay, I'm alive. But fuck that. Fetal position. Um, 
fetal position. <laughs> really should remember I can bonus action disengage and listen to the DM when oh. I'm like, you should probably do this. <laughs> and then now that I'm here, here's the thing. Now that I'm here, I mean, you're right there, and your buddy is just like thumbs yeah. up to you <laughs> as he's dancing away. Here's the thing, too. I, I don't know why I didn't just take that bonus action because I have no idea what I'm going to do with it now that I'm here. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to take a shot with the crossbow at the ogre. Oh, uh, that sounds like it's a 17 on the die, so 24. Nice. That hits. Okay. I am going to use uh, Piercer to re roll one of my damage dice. Yes, yeah, we love one. Piercer. That's much better. 21 points of piercing damage. Against the ogre? Yes. The ogre falls to the ground. Oh! Nice. I cough up a little bit of blood. It was worth it. <laughs> you know, you, you could just use get, your like, the big old or finger guns from your buddy there. <laughs> uh, I'm going to eat a goddamn sure. good berry. Uh, yeah. That's four points of healing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Put it in your mouth. Okay. Weird. Uh, <laughs> and then Scott, it is your turn. Still muted. Stomach. That ogre couldn't handle I the Wyvern to tour. Hockey, but it didn't work. Uh, uh, Soot is going to dismiss the flaming sphere since that thing is gone. What is this? I mean, I can't see the goblin, so I don't really care. There is um, no uh, goblin. It was a, it was a drawing on the cave wall. Oh right. Um. So <laughs> Soot is going to hop down from There's the tree. No uh, and she is going to uh, place her fingers together and burning hands. So, also, I uh, like that our chat is throwing out wrestling references as well, which is yes, bang bang. Um, <laughs> uh, let's, let's let's do it at second level because why the hell not? Um, so they're gonna need to make a uh, burning hand. They're gonna need to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, that's a double just fail. Want to make terrible right. wrestling references. Uh, that is going to be. I can't see that, so I'm gonna have to wait for it to pop up. Thirteen fire damage. Okay, and the two that were running away. Mm -hmm. Double underhook DDT. Two d sixes of damage. What's your strength and, modifier? Uh, Sits. Uh, ha hair is turned red, and her eyes are black. If anybody's All looking right. back at her, probably hmm. not. Uh, are they are both in a tree. They are no, both still out. alive. Oh, okay. But they are severely scorched as they attempt to run away. Mm -hmm. Uh all right. And then it is he's dead. Oh, then it's Bugbear with two hit points left. Mm -hmm. Uh and he's like, Let's get the hell out of here. And he runs away <sighs> up to this corner here. Actually Dynamite he could dash. He will run he will run off the map. He's over there. No! No! Uh, <laughs> uh, we're hunting him down. Uh, Bishop. Somebody got Hunter's Mark to put on oh, that rogue yeah. bugbear? Absolutely not. That um, require a I'm, <laughs> or, yeah. or a, That is a, not my subclass. I do not have in a vow of anemone. Anemone? I see anemone. Um, very good. Uh, in that case, uh, I'll turn, uh, raise my rapier, and I'll be like, hell of a shot, uh, as the ogre falls, and I will turn and run, uh, 30 feet. As I pass by Gable, I'm gonna, uh, reach out my offhand and lay on hands him with my bonus action, heal him for 10 points of damage. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, I will, uh, can I make a perception check to see Soot? And her complete transformation. Uh, I mean, I don't think you need to. Her right, hair's great. bright yeah, red, right. and she's on the ground. That's fair, and I, I'm fine with it. Um, and I'll say, oh, uh, are you still soot? And then I'll stab the other bugbear right here. <laughs> all right. Ooh, all right. Uh, 19 on the die plus one from bless. It's been a good day. Yes. Um, I am not going to smite this here bugbear, but I will deal 13 points of damage. Uh, okay, this guy is still up. 
You guys have been doing a great job of, like, getting these guys... Like, if you had somebody with magic missile, you'd be, like, set. You could just pow, 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 and everybody would be dead. But, unfortunately... Bang, bang! Exactly. Well, if Droop uh, this... was here with us, yeah, know, this wouldn't be a ace, problem. If our ace party member with 82 trinkets were here, then... Who's literally... Just been done chat. 10 minutes ago. M Mujadib, the... <laughs> On the cave ruins over here was up. <laughs> the drawing is of uh, uh, or of uh, Droop. <laughs> the prophecy. The, wall, the chosen one. And this guy is going to take the action to disengage, and he's also going to move thirty feet. Okay, okay. Here. You don't disengaging have to remind me bugbear. that disengaging is an action or a bonus action in my case. I get it. <laughs> and this guy is going to say, ah, ah, disengage, and he's going to move thirty feet. <laughs> I'm coming for you. And he's like, you could not, as he runs away. <laughs> Br Bronson, it's your turn. The Cornish game hen's going to do him in. Oh, <laughs> uh, I <laughs> will go to the northern uh, most bugbear. Sure. Let's see here. Uh, my little short dwarvish feet. 5, 10, 15. 20. Can I actually can I actually get to him or do you just throw him on the sheet? Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. Uh, well, the, this well, this one guy you can get to the guy that's right here. The other guy is you know maybe twenty feet past him. Okay, I will. I'll hit this guy with my warhammer. What the hell? Let's do it. Yeah, you eat. Oh, dude, I can't. I can't hit right now. It's not <laughs> yeah, happening. Jake, I blame you. I think yep. you gave Robert your curse. It's a, you but feel uh, rolls. That's okay. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to be a shield uh, and do the thing. That um, was your action. Anything as a bonus action. Yes. Uh, when I look, turn around and I look back at Bishop and Gable, is Gable still bleeding more than Bishop? Yes. I am unharmed. Ah, I should have known the Cornish so opening never <laughs> ah, works every time. I will mm -hmm. cast a healing word towards Gable. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. And I roll the one. <laughs> oh, thank Christ. Oh, thank God for myself, though. So you still get an eight. Thank you. That I'm all like a team. Ooh, was that away only 100%. Was that only one D4 there? Uh, oh, it should be two. It should be two. So go and roll another D4 to add it to it. Hot shit. Down, down, baby. Low street, no rain. Hot shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it up. Shimmy, shimmy, uh, cocoa 11 puff. 11 points total. I am back to full. Thank you. Pride of the loo. Hell yeah. Let's go. Oh. Life right, cleric so for the good. win. Let's see who's left. Uh, oh, it's Dancing Man. He's gonna. Dancing uh, Man. He's gonna run after this guy. And he's gonna. Get him, Jerry. Bugbear's gone Dancing wild. Mm. Jerry. Fucking Jerry. <laughs> Jerry's gonna go ahead and swing his morning star. It was a 21 to hit. Woo. And roll 16 points of damage. Good fuck. God. When bugbears slap, man, they. <laughs> you so forget Jerry what they're just powerful. fucking crunches this dude. Oh. You guys are having flashbacks to Senneth just getting brained with that mm -hmm. <laughs> star. Uh, and, and he just turns around and he kind of gives you again the, the dual finger guns as he continues to dance in place. Uh, after his turn, it is Gable. Well, now that my wounds have healed, thanks to my compatriots, um, <laughs> how, uh, how is Jerry doing? How's he looking? He looks like he's only been damaged by you. <laughs> so. Don't beat me. Um. Jerry, uh, in, uh, I do believe one of your cousins, or whatever sort of connection, um, ran off in that direction. He's just going to point into the wilderness to uh -huh. get him to run. Ow. He's like, 
benevolent. All right, he's going to run when it's his turn. <laughs> Please tell me he says, I gotta wait till my turn. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'll wait till my turn, but then I'm, I'm down. The GM says, I have to wait. <laughs> Initiative order, you know, man. Yeah. He goes right. on to uh, right. hire Droop to teach him self defense. Uh, well, uh, that was your, that was just a, that was a conversation. What else would yeah. you like to do? I'll, I'll move into the cave and just kind of do a little bit of exploring while everybody else hunts down that last bugbear. <laughs> Lazy little uh, shit. <laughs> oh, lazy. More like leaving, leaving it to the experts, darling. Uh, go ahead and make me a perception check while you're in here, and then we'll move on to sit here in just a second. Yeah, but they're all dead in there. Oh, yes. Uh, you never know what you might find, though. <laughs> 30 uh, foot by 30 see. foot cave bear. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, 22 on my perception. Uh, you see a pile of different kinds of things gathered together, including a treasure chest. Oh. With like, uh, a padlock noticeably not locked, just kind of like hanging loose that they didn't click the lock in. <laughs> Gable just like two fingers just unlatch and toss it to the ground and uh, mm, no. I must be careful. I'm going to check the fucking chest for traps. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I, well, you're a rogue. I'll allow you to go ahead and make mm. a... I bet that cave movie. smells like a rat died in a bag of cheap dog food. <laughs> uh, well, that would be a three on my investigation check. Oh, If it was trapped, they probably would have locked it, right? Like, that would make sense. You'd lock it so that oh. people have two chances to trigger the trap. So mm. obviously it's probably it's probably safe. Oh, it's fine. And I'll open the chest. It's not a tumor. Right. <laughs> Inside the chest, you'll see uh, 180 silver pieces. Ooh. Oh. 15 electrum pieces. And three vials of perfume worth five gold pieces each. That's it. Fifteen pieces of Logan Paul's crypto and two <laughs> primes. <laughs> wow. Half drank. <laughs> uh, two half drank prime bottles. It's, it's good. <laughs> wow. Interesting. I will Some tickets to an upcoming streaming event where some young punk thinks they can take on Mike Tyson. It's wild. Who uh, put not a mimic on the map? <laughs> I swear to God. That's got a. Is that Jake? That seems like. Yeah. Jake. Yeah. That was me. We'll get rid of it. <laughs> not a puma. He'll just sit uh, and right. start counting out the silver and pocketing it slowly. That'll be all my right, turn. Then so it's your turn. All right. Uh, Sit is going to look at Bishop and just go, Ugh. and then she's going to summon her fire spirit uh, in okay. between the two that are running away closer towards, because you said they're about 20 feet apart. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they're going to need to need to make uh, saves. Bop, deck bop, saves, bop. Right? Yes. Deck saves. Well, that's a double fail. Oh, but bu boy. Hold on, hold on, let me pull up the right one. So they're going to take 2d6 fire damage. Okay. And Abushka. Oh no. For seven, they're going to take seven fire damage apiece. Let's go. All right. Let's see, let me make sure I'm looking at the right bugbears on the map here. Oh yeah, because this guy just walloped this dude. Yeah, they... Both. How would you like your? How does this look as your fire spirit kills both of them? Uh, they had two she, and three hit points respectively. So nice. Yeah, she just uh, puts out a hand, uh, and this the little bead of fire moves from her, and just this explosion uh, as the flaming spirit comes out in its full regalia, and uh, she just shakes her head and eyes sort of still burning and dark uh, looks towards her. She's going to start walking towards her little flame companion. All right. That was, I think that was just your action, right? So you have your bonus action left. If you want to do anything with it, I don't know what you can do, but mm. um, if anything. Not a ton. Okay. Yeah. Peasants. 
Yeah. Uh, Zed, it's your turn, Bishop. All right. Um, All I'm that's gonna... left is the dancing dude heading off into the woods. I don't feel Jerry, good about just a... killing Jerry. He's got a whole <laughs> name. He's a named NPC at this point. <laughs> I've got. Uh, I look at Bronson and I point my rapier towards Jerry, and I'm like, I, I throw up the the shrug hands. He's not gonna be so cute when that charm wears off. Oh, you are right. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna point. A lot of at... confliction about who to kill and when to kill them in this campaign. A lot yeah. more than I thought. For sure, I'm gonna. I'm gonna point towards Soot, who's, like, flamed up and dark-looking. I'll be like, Bronson, this is the thing you were we were talking about. This moment now, this is that. Uh, and then I guess I'll take off after Jerry. And I'll say... And he's just like... <laughs> the finger guy oh, finger Jerry. Finger? Jerry. Jerry, my man. Uh... Slap like, him and make him evil, family. you know? Mm -hmm. Slap him and get him get a, get a, to return back to... I am going to attempt to stab him directly underneath his sternum. Oh, jeez. All right. God, I love Bless. Robert, I, I cannot here for you. tell you how much I love Bless because I have rolled, like, a four, a five, a seven. Bless? And Bless is just coming up clutch uh, for a total of 15. Uh, 15 points of damage? Uh, to 15 to hit, yes. A simple you, buff that saves sessions. You, you can't, you just, something about, you can't stab Jerry. Uh, you miss with your 15. Mm, I look at Jerry and I say, Gah. He just kind of, you go to stab him and he just kind of goes like, whoop, out of the way. <laughs> I uh, taught him well. <laughs> in a very too cool Rikishi style dance, he just kind of back oh, man. and out of the way. Oh, Bronson, I can't do it. Oh, oh no! He's a couple of pair of sunglasses, too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Pulls them out of somewhere you're not sure where. I like uh, how that sounded. <laughs> Bronson. You can see Bishop just can't. He's just constantly poking, you know, it's like that. He's just on either side of Jerry. He just can't get him. He's got too much rhythm. <laughs> Stick with him! Oh. I have two still to my north, right? Or one? Uh, no, no they uh, Soot, killed them, Soot killed them both with their fire spear. Oh, okay, she, that was the, the ones that got both. All right, then I'm going to... I'm going to send my lightning strike at uh, Jerry. All right. Let's see how we do. A 12. Ugh. It misses Jerry. He just jukes out of the way of the lightning. <laughs> mm, it hurt. Oh, and I've been forgetting to move my... Uh, a damn spiritual, spiritual weapon every weapon. turn. Um, yeah, it's not gonna get here in time for Jerry. Let's just go ahead and dismiss it. Let's let's just not yeah, be. Right. Let, let's you're not right. play this game of moving this. Bear stink face. That's, that's, you don't want the blood bear stink face. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna look over at uh, I'm gonna look over at Soot. Fire red hair, black eyes. Uh, right, Soot or. LB, give me the description yeah. of... Yeah, so uh, she's, like, a little bit taller uh, with, like, her normal brown auburn hair is, like, kind of in a top-up mohawk, but it's kind of all come down and is, like, flame red and is, like, flowing weirdly around her. She's mm. just kind of looking at her flame spirit with a smirk. Shut! She doesn't... See, she seems, uh, like, visibly different. Mm-hmm. You haven't seen any. I she mean, has confidence. She, I was gonna say she burnt something up with fire. That's not unlike what you've seen her do before at this point. Mm. Just yeah. a, you know, a transformation, a physical transformation. Mm. I will. I think I'm just gonna urge Soot on and be like, "All right, Soot, let's finish this." We gotta kill the one in the south. Follow me, and I will see what happens from here. And okay. I'm gonna go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 
and I've already tried to. I don't. I don't have. Yeah, use your action to. Yep, I don't have anything to do. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all I got. All right. Uh, it's Jerry's turn. <laughs> uh, and uh. Actually, I will. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do one thing. I'm gonna use my uh, harness my divine power to get a oh, okay. uh, a spell awesome. slot. All right. Let me look at the charmed condition real quick. Because you guys have attempted to attack him, but you just haven't been able to hit him. <laughs> I think it's uh, when we deal damage. Oh, all right uh, then. He will. Uh, he's like, well, I gotta go, uh, and he will take the dash action. So he will mm. run away from you, Bishop, potentially triggering an opportunity attack. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> no. I'm a, I'm a fucking softie. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I just stand there. I can't do it. I basically watch from the mouth of Cave, like leaning against the wall, as Bishop does the equivalent of Point Break, where he just like swings his sword above his head. <laughs> and laying down on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> I smite upward. This has <laughs> got Saving Private shit. Ryan written all over it. Just Bugbear Edition. Mm -hmm. I love you it. Ever so fired much. Your, you ever stuck your rapier in the air and gone off? <laughs> no, I've stuck my rapier in the air and gone off. <laughs> no, uh, no, I haven't. I can jump a fence, though. Let's see. 20, 25. Oh, I'm going to be 40, so 40. angry that Bishop is going to make me run with my little corgi feet. <laughs> like, it's just, a, it's such a, like, everybody expects a dwarf to be as nimble as Gimli, but we're not. It's just right, so much slower is, in I real mean, life. I guess we're still technically in initiative at this point. Uh, um, until this guy outruns anything that Bronson can throw at him. So, Gable, it's your turn. <laughs> Gable is let going. Me, let me let me oh, let me rephrase. It seems that Bronson has it has it out for Jerry. <laughs> Bishop and Gable don't. I don't know where Soot stands in this, but like, if you're just content to just keep searching and doing whatever, I'll just go to either well whatever Soot's gonna do, or just jump ahead to Bronson to see if we can hit him as he runs away before he outpaces any ranged spell attacks that Bronson can hit him with. <laughs> I'm just seeing the he's... montage of Last of the Mohicans with this bugbear. <laughs> if, if, if I miss him this round, Jerry was meant to live, and I hope he lives charmed and dances like the dirty wook I... he is. I, 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 w I wanna see how that resolves. Um, okay. Basically, Gable's turn is going to be him leaning against the entrance of the cave, but he's just going to be looking uh, <laughs> at Soot at this okay. new, you know, because this is the first time he's actually gotten a good look when he wasn't, uh, you know, being threatened to burn to death. So he's just looking with a smirk like, there she is. All right. Uh, Soot. Mommy. What is it's your turn? Uh, what is your move? Sit takes a look like she's gonna take like a 10 foot step over here to kind of okay. see how far the bugbear is, and she sees it's very far away and kind of just shrugs, okay, and then turns back to her little companion and like gives it a pet on top of its head. All right, then it's going to go to, I mean, Bishop, I think I know you. If it answer. was any closer, I would definitely kill it. I'll tell you what. <laughs> if it okay. was possible, Bishop. I would try. <laughs> I'll tell and you Bishop, what. I think I know your answer. Uh, no, I'm going to I'm going to go walk over to Soot, I think with her. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to I'm I'm going to look away from uh Bronson as I as I walk away from Jerry. <laughs> Jerry's just kind of like now he's he's doing the worm, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> away. Uh, mostly just ashamed of myself, but also worried about um, so and I, I will close in on that and I, I will I'll be like, we did talk about this. So you OK? Of course, 
Nothing hit me. Mm hmm. Are you soot? I am soot. I can change my face, you know. Mm hmm. I do, yes. Do you change your personality often as well? I don't know. Have you noticed? Well, clearly, as we are here now, aren't we? We are. Hey. Uh, and then, um, I will go in, um, I'll go in just for, like, a straight-up hug. Just a, just a hug. Just be like, eh, it's okay, let it go, we're done. Mm, consent, darling. Hold well, on. Well, I mean, I'm oh, not I gonna force a, a hug. Uh, this is very much uh, Rick Moranis and Ghostbusters. <laughs> Uh, as you lean in, Sit grabs the collar of your armor and pulls you in for a kiss. Oh. Wow. Wow, that was not expected. Uh, I mean, he is the key master and she's definitely talking. <laughs> she's the key keeper. She's um, definitely. The key no, I'm going to I'm going to definitely lean back from that because um this is this is uncharacteristic. Um uh, and uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a half stick back because I am caught off guard, and I'll say, "All right, you take a minute and figure you see that all out. of this gable very clearly. <laughs> you never forget your first. Mm -hmm. well, I've kissed people before. <laughs> yes, uh, oh, I'm sure you have, darling. All right, uh, while this is happening, <laughs> this weird thing, Bronson." As you truck along with your little dwarven legs. I'm so I'm so locked in on Jerry, I don't even notice what's going on behind me. Oh, uh, I love it. And <laughs> I'm wide corgi stance. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I will cast my infamous always miss guiding bolt on this son of a All bitch. Right. He has a number of hit points. Do you hit? Let us see. Please, dear Shante, let me hit this thing so I don't have to run any farther. <laughs> Here we go. No, it's Here a 12. Go. Oh, my it. God. Mm. Oh. I think, you know, oh. Jerry I think stands we found up. Our he BBEG. hops up from, from the worm. He does like a little... He doesn't have a hat. A hat materializes. He does a little smooth criminal lean right out of the way as the guiding bolt shoots past him. Oof. And then he just moonwalks 60 feet off into the woods. Oof. And you got smooth criminaled? Oof. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> and apparently, Jerry was meant to live hmm. as he dashes 60 feet into the woods. Jerry, do you want me? Do you want me? For another 58 minutes while he remains underneath this charm. He oh my away. God. <laughs> <laughs> he gets a Neverwinter like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> I, I am exhausted. I fall on my back like a turtle. <laughs> just going to lay yeah, there for a minute. Oops. I'm making myself prone. <laughs> wincing like peter griffin my lungs are burning i really well, Ch chad i really need to do the guiding bolt tally to see exactly how many i missed at this point but we're you're one for four you should see the rest of my career it's it's about we like can a make a we can i can add a counter <laughs> we'll put up a string elements uh, counter that we can just increase every time you cast one. Maybe 20% <laughs> on Guiding Bolt for some reason. <laughs> oh, it's bad. So, darling. Yes? I'm curious. Why can't you remember these moments where you slip into this other self of yours? Far as I can figure, there's a door that opens and... This part of me, I can come out, and I can keep the door open a little bit longer each time, as far as I can tell. But as soon as it closes, I forget myself. This door, where does it lead? It is darkness. I'll use Divine Sense 
Okay. And that tells you <laughs> Celestial uh, Fiend or Undead. Sure. Uh you Yeah, it's not tracking. Soot is tracking as soot. Just, you know, not 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 any of those three. All right. This now, Oh, I'm sorry, go on. No no. You you continue. This um soot that we are speaking with. When you step through the door, do you carry any previously unknown knowledge with you? Perhaps maybe the source of where this other self is coming from? This desire to burn? The flame has always been there, but it hasn't been till recently that I've had consciousness, if that makes sense. You speak of the flame as if it is a an individual or important being or artifact of some kind. I refer to flame as fire. Fire is flame. It burns. My apologies. I was woefully unaware. That's all right. You are just a little thing. So how long are you going to linger this time? And how many of us are you going to threaten with your presence before you leave? I have not heard anyone or threatened. Oh. Well, maybe a little. Mm. It was wonderful meeting you for the first time. <laughs> Thought I'm you might like that. I'm curious about you. It is quite terrifying and exhilarating all at the same time. I like this version of you. I thought you might. Though I feel your tastes are more furry and masculine. <laughs> Darling, I don't have tastes like that, but I do enjoy seeing those who see the world for what it really is, and I feel like you and I could bond well over that. Well, I like the other suit, personally. Um, mm. What What are you doing here? What is? Are you the the protection element? Are you keeping... Our soot safe, mentally, emotionally. Where is she currently? She is me. I don't know that I believe that. Can I make an insight check on that? Sure. That is... It is a 16 on my insight. I'll let LB make some rolls over there. Uh, she seems to be genuine. God damn, Jerry's got some fucking wheels. Right. <sighs> back right in the middle of this, I love it. <sighs> what the? Uh... Bronson, meet Soot. Not Soot. It's... I am. Your eyes are as black as coal. Do you all forget that I can change my shape at any point? I've been a goblin. I've been, I was a squirrel ten minutes ago. No, yes, of course. It's not that, it's... It's the desire to burn, which... is brighter now than it was before. It's the... I have many desires, Bishop. I take a quarter <laughs> step back. Okay, I push <laughs> Bishop closer. <laughs> no, this does not feel... right, and I... I appreciate what you've done for us, but if you if you're telling me you're the same person you were when you were a squirrel, then I'd be a fool to believe you. I don't know what to tell you. I don't really know how all this works. Now, now, Bishop. Oh, dear, so just speaking honestly, I haven't detected anything untrue out of our darling soot, and I believe that this is merely perhaps a defense mechanism, or maybe she's just more comfortable in the throes of battle when flames can be ignited around her. Ultimately, I think we should support her regardless. Oh, we're gonna we find out. We're gonna find out when, when the other version of soot comes back if she remembers anything. So, yeah. tell me this. If 10, 15 minutes go by and you change your form again and you don't have a memory 
We're gonna know. Fascinating how defense mechanisms work. Oh, now we're not a form. We're a mechanism, are we? Not me. The I think you're full of shit. That's what I All think. Right. Whatever you want. Let's... Let's sip it down, my man. I know. No, away. no. I it's, think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna catch a little fire now. You leave Soot alone. She said she's been blacking out outside of her own control. Is that true? It, it seems so, but I cannot control when the door opens. You could be a team. This doesn't look like that. I don't have control of that. I think ultimately, to understand the situation, perhaps a little bit more investigation must occur. But ultimately, if she meant us harm, she would have done so minutes ago. It's not me that I'm worried about. I'm worried about our friend that loses her memories. That's what I'm worried about. Now, so do you remember what your other half does? Sometimes I have moments that seem unimportant that I forget. All right. Well, I told her, and I'll tell you that we're in this as a team together, and we'll get through it. And I'm not going to kiss you because I don't know you. Shame. Ah! But you are, you are a valued member here, and I am, I'm excited to get to know you better so that we can work together. As am I. Huh. Um. Again, again, uh, Bishop just feels a paw on his back, pressing him closer to <laughs> I slap behind my back, and I'm blushing real hard at this point. I'm like, um, <laughs> Anyway, uh, no, yes, uh, no, mm hmm uh, and I put, I, I take another step away. I move a step away from Gable as well, because he is, he is a, he's being a troublemaker. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm hmm I am going to speak primordial. Oh, okay. Sneaky. Does... So it does speak primordial, yes? Or is that... Mm -mm. No. Deep okay. speech. I speak dwarvish. Oh, I'm not worried about what Soot can speak. I'm worried about what this person can speak. That's fair. Uh, That's fair. You know what? Soot can understand it somewhat because her fire spirit can. That's true. Uh, so it turns to the fire spirit to like relay the information because she doesn't understand it. Uh, and you guys see her form shrink down a little bit as she's looking at him and her hair goes back to brown. Uh, and she kind of is looking at him and he goes, oh, hi. What? Yeah. Oh, what? She stands up and turns around. She goes, hey, hi. Hey. Hi. Hello, I'm darling. sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. That seems weird, right? <laughs> uh, I, you know, sometimes uh, such impulses present themselves in strange ways. Yeah, I mean, it was a little weird. Are you okay? Yeah, I feel great. Okay. Do you remember anything? <laughs> no. But okay. my little man just told me everything that's going on. Who? Uh, yeah. So, like, uh, um, there's this cave here, and it, um... <laughs> yeah, you guys should go explore that. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go stand over here for, like, ten minutes. I'll be right back. Oh, I yeah. really wanted a full recap of everything in that voice for Bishop. <laughs> so, you know, we were, uh, <laughs> and then, you know, because... You were hot, and I was like, oh, no. Um, but, like, temperature. Uh, 
I, I walk in the cave. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in the cave. Ooh, it's nice and cool in here. I I shoot daggers at uh, Gable though as I walk in. Oh yes, I mean of course. It all started when she was hot. Is that what the? Is that what you said? Oh, physically, <laughs> from a temperature standpoint. Mm. Right. Um, so, what was in this treasure chest? Oh, um, just some electrum. <laughs> Apparently, they thought they were being smart and collecting some currency that barely anyone uses anymore. All right. I. I mean, I think it's. I think it's money still, so that's good. Uh, yeah. what's up? Uh, look at this. <clears throat> look at this here drawing <laughs> on the wall. Um, I O U S. Those are as good as money. <laughs> <laughs> that's one's for a car you're gonna want to keep that one <laughs> Sid is outside the cave and she's just kind of like has her head on the edge of the cave and it's just like it's like slightly banging her head on the wall stupid 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 uh, stupid, stupid stupid why'd you do that I I am gonna go over to set did uh did you lose control again yeah, I tried really hard not to. I maybe have an idea. Do you want me to leave? No. The exact opposite. I want to try to help. Okay. And I'm going to begin to cast ceremony, and I'm going to get out one of... Actually, no, I'll just grow a new one. I'm going to grow with Druid Craft. I'm gonna grow a new rose off the edge of this cave cliff. Okay. And I'm gonna pick that white rose of Shantae. And I'm gonna take a couple of the petals and put them inside of what's left of my holy water flask. Let's see if we can help with some of those headaches. And I'm okay. gonna offer in an atonement ceremony Okay. To set. Uh, what does that do? Okay. Wait, I want to remind everybody what atonement does from ceremony. So it's it's a bit old school uh, when f folks would yeah. change their alignment, but yeah. I kind of I just use it as one of those like if someone's been possessed or they've had loss of agency. I see what happens. I just give it. A, I give it a whirl. Okay, so that is going to happen. However, Chet has, in fact, tipped this reliquary. Oh. So we need to pick somebody who will make the D6 roll to determine whether the effects are good, bad, or weird of this happening. Not it. So who would like to make that roll? Do it. I'm doing it right now. Okay, yes. well, roll me a D6, LB. Here it comes. Get ready. It's a six. That's weird, is it? Mm hmm. That is weird. Okay. Now, these don't exist in D&D &D Beyond. And we have a large pension here on the channel for a love of the D30. So if you can just use a, a die roller, or if you have one, go ahead and roll me a D30, and we'll see what happens. I do not have a D30. Play Dungeon Crawl Classic. Do you have a D32? I, I do have a D... Well, Ted gave me a D30. I nice. do not have, have a D30. No, you roll it. Roll I... it. Oh, okay. You sure? You don't... No, no. Don't well, let Jake roll it. You... Okay. You roll it. So you I roll did, it. but okay. I, I unrolled. Because okay. you, rolled the, you rolled the weird. You should get the, the satisfaction of rolling that D30. <laughs> Bishop is still twitterpated. 15. <laughs> 15? Oh no. I think that's Thanks, Jake territory. DCC. Oh, it could be. Alright, let's see. 15. What happens on a 15? Thumper oh. feels things, so. <laughs> uh, I, uh, oh, thank God it's not the one that I, I, I went to row 15. Uh, it is not row 15. It is number 15. So that's that's better for everybody. Good. Um, otherwise, 
Uh, you know what? I probably just shouldn't tell you, so you can yeah, experience dude, that. Keep it a mystery. Keep it later. In case, in case it happens again. Um, so as you're giving her this uh, atonement uh, thing here, the atonement drink, as it were, um, you guys hear somebody, uh, and he's just like, hey. Hey, what are you what are you guys doing? Uh, do you have uh, you have some time to talk about uh, our our Lord and Savior, Mistra? <sighs> and he comes walking down the road. I thought you were going to uh, say Jesus. And then he and has a Christ. little he has a little companion, and he goes, "Yeah, you guys should totally donate to Mistra." Also. Your towel, and it's a little talking blue towel that travels with this Mistrin priest, asking for donations. And all he continues to do is accuse you all of being towels. Uh, your towel. Want to get high? No. <laughs> do you want to get high? What? Well, no. <laughs> Maybe. Um. What what do you want for Mistra? Uh, like magic stuff or like gold? Donations. Also to get high. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I could find you something around here that you could get high with, but um. That sounds great. <gasps> okay. It's always nice to meet a fellow town. What in this the is Sean world? territory? This is Sean territory. This is Sean. Territory. Yeah, I'm I'm 21 plus. Yeah, you're 21 uh, plus, and I'm one to 10, so that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Uh, yeah, sure. And then the guy's uh, like, "Yeah, this is my buddy, uh, Towley. He wants to also accept donations from Mishra. Mm -hmm. Uh, also like." Magic, and uh, oh. also he really wants to get high. So, uh, I mean, I wouldn't say no, if you know what I mean. That's a whole <laughs> other kind of magic, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, no? Wanna get high? There's a bugbear <laughs> down the road that's particularly of speed that has several magical items on him. You said he's got speed? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, a handful of black mollies, you know, some other... I'm sorry, uh, not to interrupt this riveting conversation on drugs. Uh, who are you, Mr. or Mrs. Priest? Uh, it, is, uh, it is a male priest, and we're just going to say his name is Sean. And this is his buddy, Towley. Well... Mm -hmm. um, he'll take ten silver and just sort of like gesture with it, like here, take it and go on your way. This is gonna run along. Oh, okay, now I'm getting Mickey Mouse vibes. <laughs> <laughs> my voice, I am. My voice is just a masterful. Up, so it's going all over the. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take it's out a magic one towel. of. What do you want? <laughs> my. <laughs> My award-winning winning heirloom goodberries. Sure, of course. I don't have much to offer, friends, but I do make excellent goodberries, and I will unwrap one out of a uh, little piece of parchment paper and hand it to him. And he's, uh, Sean is like, nice. I like this. This sounds good. And he's like, and then Towley will like, up your hands, reaching towards the goodberry. You're gonna need that when you get high later. I promise you. Mm, it'll fill you up for the whole day. I can't even talk. I'm trying to crack mm -hmm. my voice, and I can't even do it because my voice won't. I can't even speak. Oh well, hey, it's not going at all. Oh, yeah, um, I think we should go go high with these guys, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that is venturing into some yeah, meatwad yeah. territory. Oh, yeah. no, <laughs> meatwad! Dude, I, I got a lung that. tat. Hurt worse than thirty bitches on a bitch boat, man. <laughs> <laughs> Frat aliens is my favorite episode. Uh, Sit's so gonna look around a little bit to see if she can find anything that they could get high with. Because all I have Make is me. mistletoe, and you don't want to smoke that. 
<laughs> well, it's the ultimate ride. Yeah. Uh, you know, 25. All right. Yeah, sure. When, uh, sure. when in Wavern Tour. Out, these bugbears were really big on, they had like a little area in the woods mm -hmm. that you guys just didn't get to yet. Oh. Were the ones that were running to the north that you were, that you burnt before they got there. Turns out they were just kind of growing in the field over there. So <laughs> there's a whole bunch <laughs> of whatever the equivalent of, uh, Fantasy weed is. Black <laughs> helicopters <laughs> swarm. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, she'll she'll pick some and uh, hand it over to them. Uh, here you go. And he's like, "Oh man!" <laughs> and he just runs and he just tokes up right there immediately, and then oh, just okay. Please tell me he lights it just... off the fire elemental, like <laughs> yeah, just, just Please leans sit in, lights up. it. Uh, I bust out my book of laws and open up a page and I'm like, it's getting high illegal. Uh, you realize that like it's you, when you open up your book of laws, uh, you know, it really comes down to the Faerunian city state and their individual laws. Uh, but, you know, they're not selling it, so they're OK. All right, I'm no no. Can I close it up? <laughs> oh, my God, chat. Turn the good berry into one. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke it like an apple, baby. He will pass the good berry b bong over to you that's being lit up with this random shit. Uh, so I guess we have a lot of interesting. We have beach episodes. We have drinking contests. Now we have getting high with a towel, Eastern towel in the middle of the woods. Six hours <laughs> later, about talking about previous episodes of diners, drive-ins, and dives in the <laughs> in the best of grilled cheese challenge. <laughs> we we'll wake we up in the field. If we use uh, like movie and TV direction, it just turns into the episode of that '70s show where the camera just rotates oh, next to everybody. Yeah, everybody's in a circle. <laughs> that, yes, all of that. Yep. Uh, That's how you eat the second good berry on the day. <laughs> mm. I'm so full, but I could have another. <laughs> <laughs> they are award-winning heirloom good berries. Ooh. I'll take yeah. out my crystal and press to digitate it a little bit blander. <laughs> hey, Allie, how's the weather out there? Not too bad. Uh, yeah, we're gonna set up another reliquary uh, because <laughs> that you rolled weird. That's what happens. Weird yeah, things weird happen. Shit. When Soot gets both atoned and high, what? Where are we going in the? <laughs> I don't know that soot would smoke. <laughs> soot would smoke, That's but a good... soot wouldn't smoke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Depends on the kind of smoke we're talking about, I guess. Yeah. Uh, this yeah, soot is like, oh, you... no, thank you. I appreciate so you... it, but I'm okay. So how's Gabe? What's Gable's thoughts? Is Gable, uh, Gable, wouldn't... Gable wouldn't partake, but he would get enough of a contact high, like a second hand high. <laughs> That like when he goes to sleep, some cats just fully sleep on their back, limbs down, just staring up. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, uh, and then I'm assuming it sounds like Bishop and uh, Bronson are just they're down. I mean, Bronson tries to be cool, Dad, but I mean, it totally wrecks him. Like it's <laughs> strong. You gotta inhale less, my dude. <laughs> you puff, you hold it, and then you inhale. I think I got some of that good berry juice in my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't freak uh, out, man. Everything's it, gonna be all right. I'm so it worried. It hurts and then heals. Uh, it hurts and it heals. <laughs> I'm, Bishop, I'm so worried about Sut. Oh, hey, God. man. Did you see one of them tried to kiss me? I'm not sure. What? Yeah, you were chasing Jerry. You're but... a virgin. My favorite is that all of this is happening, but you're right there, so Like, this is happening. That is like, you're... just kind of shifts back, so it's she's just like, like, not in view. Man, I think I'm gonna go for a walk. That's what I gotta do. If it goes oh, down, no. don't let it turn into a squirrel on you. <laughs> That's just weird. Bronson, you need to go to bed. <laughs> you are. Uh... Now, there's a lot of possibilities. Uh, <laughs> my, 
Uh, Bishop, my it feels like my skin's boiling. Oh, hey. Um, I'm going to lay on hand. That's <laughs> it for five points oh, to remove God. this. Okay. It sounded like Bishop was just going to go, hey, <laughs> stop that. <laughs> You'll be it's okay. Like one I, uh, I, I, Bishop slaps where it's just like, like <laughs> stop it. Thanks just, for leaving, uh, it's a caress. <laughs> uh, removing yeah. two points of anxiety from, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, from Bronson. Sure. Fucking <sighs> oh, I just, man, I've that. never been a big ah, fucking Tao guy. I've never been a go, go never, cook dinner, uh, go make us dinner, man. What are uh, you doing? Enjoy the moment. Stop thinking about other things. I'm, I'm just not a big weed guy. I don't know. I, I just like my I like my beard. It, 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 it makes me think about things. I don't. I'm, you do this before you did it, though. This is our first yeah, time hanging out like this. But if it's a towel that came up, I didn't know what the hell to do. I wanted to be cool. I take Bronson to the side a little bit. I'm like, what are you doing calling me a virgin in front of everybody, man? That hurts my feelings. I didn't know who you were. I'm so, so, oh, God. I didn't say I was. You said I was. Oh, it just came out of my lips. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shit. I just had a really weird day, and you're coming you're... at me with this, man. <laughs> well, maybe you need to take the edge off, then. I don't know. Like, when you get... That's why I smoke. The dragon root, which is what we're gonna call magic weed. The dragon yeah, root. Dragon root. Well, how how old are you again, Bishop? Me, I'm 24. 24. It's gotta happen sooner or later. Yeah. Well, look, we never got into this, but I was I was dating a girl before, and then she turned out to be a fucking criminal and she tried to stab me with my pants off and it just oh, didn't work shit. out okay oh go <laughs> so this is sensitive i am feeling sensitive about this i uh, definitely you guys can definitely hear this at this point because uh, we're oh, getting loud i uh, picture uh, gable is fully laying uh, on the shit. ground like two feet from you guys <laughs> and Sid is just like sitting next to gable like like a wide-eyed staring at the ground like i feel like i should leave i don't know what to do <laughs> uh, gable will look at soot and how uncomfortable she is and he'll like move and curl up into a ball right up against her no one wants you to leave darling okay thank you great should I I do whatever you me? like, whatever Ooh, you need. Okay. <laughs> oh, just, uh, don't, just don't touch my belly. I'm allowing. just embarrass Cujo. I will allow. Whatever will help you relax. But if you touch my belly, I will cut you. Okay. Okay. Of course. Just stick to the top of the head. That's a safe spot. Yes. And behind the ear. <laughs> It'll be okay if he cuts you because you're a towel. Oh, God, he's still here. I thought, <laughs> thought he left. <laughs> I'm freaking out, man. I'm seeing towels. <sighs> Bronson, I'm digging through the bag of holding. I'm like, Bronson, did you finish all the beans? There's no, none left. No, no, I, I, I have enough for another full seven bean layer dip. I can't see, I can't find it, man. All there is is this spicy damn teriyaki beef jerky you made. Oh, you bland bitch. <laughs> it's not my fault I like pancakes and syrup when, when I'm high, man. <laughs> Hold on. At least I have a little hold over here. Now, please tell me you're not so sensitive about cheese. Oh. I pull out a double cream brie that I have on a little side satchel. It's naturally warm being between my armor and my body. And, uh, you know, that's a, that's a creamy... <laughs> creamy cheese at room temperature it's uh, close to drippy as i hand you the uh washed rind on it i'll be honest as long as it's not pepper jack uh bishop's in yeah man it's just good Excuse delicious my, funky brie <laughs> oh yeah man oh thank goodness now check I'm gonna this go out. Sit under those trees over there and i'm just gonna eat some cheese
I'm going to carve up a couple of pears to blow your mind to pair with that brie. Oh. And I'll set those over by the side. All of this takes me in an absorbent amount of time. There's a lot of double, like, doubling back and, like, oh, shit, I don't have... But I get it done. Hi. Great. I'll make tea. I was going to go explore the cave and see if there's any cool rocks in there. I think that's what she's going to do with her time. Uh, eventually, uh, as this starts to wind down, uh, Sean and Towley will uh, get up and they'll they'll wave goodbye as they start to leave. And Sean will look over at Bishop under the tree with the brie and all of the, uh, the pear, pear slices, was it? Pear? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's just like getting high and having brie and pear slices. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, leaves. dude! Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> <laughs> and him and Towley oh. walk off down the road, and just you see the smoke trail leave into the woods as they work their way out of uh, the viewpoint of everybody. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> it's weird. It was a weird role. Oh, there's and so again. We, we got ha- three we, of us. We got high yeah. around just absolute massacred monsters. That's also a thing that I was thinking about. There's just like dead bodies and blood everywhere, and you guys are just like high amongst it. Oh yeah, that's man. I'm. Oh, I'll I'm press the digitate for like 20 minutes. Rocking back and forth. This is horrible. This is horrible. So, again, for a peek behind the curtain, the way the game, the, the reliquary works is we were talking about how we like D30. So I've got 2000 already towards the next one. Jake, you monster. <laughs> because we were going to decide to roll a D30, at the time, it was just games that were pretty much being run well, mostly almost entirely in person at my house. So the first 10 good, bad, and weird I designed, the middle one were our friend Sean, and the last 10 were all from Jake. So <laughs> uh, if you roll in the 1 to 10 range, you're dealing with my good, bads, or weirds. In the mid range is Sean's, and the latters are Jake. And they vary greatly wild in good bad and weird like it is dre- we are very different people in the way we go about running games so i'm pretty sure the predator was yours Mm-hmm. yeah so we had like the predator attack the party because that was a bad role and that was jake's edition uh so you know that could happen it definitely killed a party member they were on a boat it was a whole thing uh, <laughs> but you know what you could also just get a random you? magic item. You know, a random magic item could appear. Or you yes. could get, you know, 20 minutes with the dungeon master as your characters to ask any omniscient questions you want about somebody who controls the world that you live in. Mm-hmm. Mm. I am you the know, chosen. Stuff like that. You are the chosen. I am the exactly. chosen. Yes. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got a chosen voice out of Ted. <laughs> that's just what you think you got. You don't really know. God, you wouldn't even know what chosen if it's stood right in front of you. Is there a counter to get the predator in the table? Like, can we tip? <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> oh, fuck him. Uh, again, it exists. It's there. I see that Jake is now in the document looking at I did, the yeah. Walls. I was looking at the old ones. Well, you highlighted all the old ones we did. So I was looking at some of the wild random things we did. Uh, a random character has to speak uh, pig Latin for the rest of the session. No, oh, fuck no. that. Ukfe at they. <laughs> yep. We that. had that happen uh, to somebody, but it happened in the last 15 minutes of the episode. So they yep. were. It was OK. <laughs> it was Celeste, by the way, in that game. So <laughs> nice. nice. Good. <laughs> Um, but anyway, Fantastic. I feel like we're at the point where we're going to end it. We've had, it's been a wild. Anything Another. that I should know before we end this? I mean, I can't really keep track of what's like. I we, buy the we, tea we from go- Silverton's. Okay. And Drew oh, gets to drink it. Gets, gets to drink it. God damn it. All right. Hang on. <laughs> let's, let's roll. Um, 
you know, we keep talking about how, like, this episode is the fever dream episode. Every episode is the fever dream episode, it seems. It's who really, we are. It's really true. Right. Um, the only thing that Gable's going to do uh, until yeah. sleep, uh, he's going to look at that mirror that he has that has oh. Reese's fucking face on it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... By the way, somewhere Droop finds a quarter staff that he can twist apart and becomes a set of nunchucks. <laughs> that is that in real life. That's fucking cool, <laughs> right? So, uh, Michelangelo and Domatello combined. There you go, man. He's living the dream wherever he is, off in the woods, starting his Fight Club. <laughs> uh, Good ass time. You guys haven't been back to Fandolin in like four days. Actually, I lied. It's been like eight days because of all the long rests we keep taking after every single encounter. But... It's true. Uh, we do take another long rest. Uh, uh, do Bishop I Will wake up feeling uh, like I've Not expanded high. my horizons? The uh, the no, sweet leaf. No, no. As, as, as though the sweet leaf were to provide uh quite the experience for you is what you're asking forbidden for some so sort true. of kaleidoscopic forbidden knowledge <laughs> i see i see where you're going but no unfortunately because it was because one it, now, if we'd killed cherry we would have leveled up of course it, 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 r recall that these are all supposed to be in theory small little side quests that you go on all of you, yes. you've turned them into three full three-hour episodes, basically, each time. But there there are still two other quests, or I guess one other quest, right, which is Thunderstruck. Yep. <laughs> um, which is it's, is a whole thing. Uh, but uh, I just want to point out the last thing, because somebody did mention it. The goblin on the wall. We talked mm -hmm. about it before, but I'll remind you that it is a very long and lanky looking goblin, almost very clearly a goblin in its depiction, but almost like bugbear in like proportions, like long, lanky arms and kind of very weird juxtaposition. Mm -hmm. Droop is very mm -hmm. kind of small and tight and like, you know, very compact. This is much almost otherworldly and it's lankiness and then it has a large crystal just jutting out of its skull. whoa all right and it is very right. clearly different than any goblin you this depiction different than any goblin you have seen thus far both the Kragmaw ones and obviously the scrap tops which would be droop i am going to uh draw a rendering of this because I know one of the kids in town saw a weird looking goblin. And I want to see if this is that. Sure. Uh, it doesn't look exactly like the weird ones that you guys were kind of thinking were xenomorphic in nature from uh, Tresendar Manor, the ones with the elongated skulls. Right. But the bodily proportions of the lankiness appears to be the same. Okay. But this is very clearly like a crystal mm. skull. Crystal coming out of a skull, not mm. a crystal skull. Right. It's not a Dan Aykroyd situation. It's, <laughs> it's not a, a Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> it's either not a Dan Aykroyd situation or not a Shia LaBeouf, Harrison Ford situation. Oh. Right. Correct. This is a crystal in a skull, Oof. not a crystal skull. This was the last time I walked out of the movie theater. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, Avatar, The Last Airbender. Mm. Oh, that was bad. fair. Fair. Yeah. That is the only time I've walked out of a movie. Mm. So anyway. Uh, all right. Uh, I think we're in a good spot to bring this episode to a close. Yeah. I'm going to contemplate yeah, uh, Bishop's virginity. And... It's a weird thing for you to contemplate right as we come to a close. But... Well, it's what my high thoughts are going to go to, and hopefully I can get you back to a, uh, a harvest a uh, harvest festival at Leyland, you know? Maybe you'd increase your odds. It's like a bless. 
for your sex life. Uh, as the chat has said on multiple occasions, <laughs> we'll end this on a high note. Uh, yes. So, uh, I don't, I'm not even going to acknowledge you, chat. Uh, <laughs> Robert, tell us who, who you are and where people can find you on the internet. Just a reminder, Shantae, the goddess, the grain mother, and uh you know got us a fertility just throwing it out there uh you can find me captain robert everything we play D, D over the channel all week come and say hello lb lb hack em up you can find me at lb hack em up on the twitters and the instagrams all that fun stuff you can find me at hack recklessly uh tomorrow actually we're gonna be playing some lethal company uh i'm playing with the 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 Thursday crew, which I don't normally play with, and I'll have some special guests. Uh, that's me. Jake? Hi, Internet. Uh, I'm Jake. You can find me at Legends Rerolled. Uh, it's the podcast that I do. You can find us wherever you listen to podcasts. We replay classic stories uh, in 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons. Right now, we are just about done with our first season, which is The Wizard of Oz. Hello, Kujo. Hello, I am Cujo of Cujo Plays Games and at Crit Hit Chronicles. You can find me at Crit Hit Chronicles across all social media platforms except for Twitter, where it's at Crit Hit Cron. Um, you can also find me at Cujo Plays Games, and um, I am a TTRPG streamer. And uh, we're going to be putting on a Daggerheart campaign in a couple weeks. Uh, but until then, doing maybe some world building streams and other such stuff to prepare. So come and tune in. You may even be able to have an impact on the way certain towns are built. I don't. I don't know. It'd be kind of cool. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and yeah, my name's Ted. This is Nerd Immersion. Uh, I'm at PAX East. That's why I am. That's why this took so long to get this to start. So I'm here at in uh, Boston. If you guys want to stop by and say hi, if you see me around, feel free to do so. Uh, we'll be back next Wednesday with more of this. And who knows? You know, maybe we'll get through another side quest. It's like a side quest a week. <laughs> uh, we're having fun. Fortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately, this side quest is, if they go to this one, is a bigger one. Like, this is like a small encounter with, like, a cave. The next one is a whole town. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, but, yes. Uh, thank you to chat. Yeah, I'll be at Gen Con as well. So, maybe we'll we'll see you out there. But, uh, yeah. Come, come hang out. Maybe you'll find me hanging out with Robert. You never know. Bang! That's right. That's right. Uh, so until until next week, uh, don't forget to bring a towel. Get her. <laughs> goodbye. Mind goodbye. Player, goodbye. Goodbye.